Valkyrie Blade Strike, May's Biotype DPS Battlesuit. Her leader skill increases the team's defense by 40% and will also provide an additional 9% HP to Biotype characters. Her basic attack sequence is melee and has a natural attack speed increase of 30%. Her combo attack, Void Edge, rapidly slashes enemies and is useful for building up a high combo count. It gains an additional 30% critical rate and 40% critical damage against airborne enemies and can also be used immediately after an ultimate evasion or switching in. An interesting mechanic about her combo attack is that it can still gather hits from enemies that have already been defeated. When performing her basic or combo attacks, Valkyrie Blade Strike is more likely to ignore interruption and reduces incoming physical damage by 30%. At double S rank, both basic and combo attacks have the ability to charge her SP at an increased rate. This can be used to the team's advantage due to her passive ability to distribute 50% of the SP she gains to characters off the field when her SP bar is full. After accumulating 100 SP, Valkyrie Blade Strike is able to activate her ultimate skill, Susano which consumes 20 SP on activation and 10 SP per second when active. While Susano is active, her critical rate and critical damage are increased by 10% and 75% respectively. Her basic and combo attacks can also reach further and can break enemy shields more easily, which works well with her passive ability to deal an additional 40% total damage multiplier against enemies without shields. She also supplies 2 SP per second to teammates who are off the field. When triggering her evasion skill, Valkyrie Blade Strike activates a global time fracture. At triple S rank, she gains an additional 60% attack speed and extends the time fracture by 1 second. When the time fracture ends, she deals damage to surrounding enemies while knocking them off balance. In combat, Valkyrie Blade Strike has quite a few shortcomings as a DPS. She has a short attack range and is immobile when attacking, making it hard for her to deal with multiple enemies or bosses. All her damage comes from her burst mode, which, despite having increased SP charging speeds, will still take a while to charge. Abilities like Combo Keeper, that might qualify as a support ability, have extremely obscure uses. Her ability to supply SP to Valkyries off the field doesn't quite fit into any team combination either. And even if she were to use that ability as a support, it'd make more sense for the main DPS to be on the field, dealing damage while charging her own SP instead. In addition, her leader skill does not add to the team's offensive capabilities in any way. This would usually cause the team to have to rely on the leader skill of one of the support Valkyries, or even not have a leader skill that increases damage at all. To fix these issues, Striker Fulminata, the augmented Valkyrie Blade Strike Battlesuit, was introduced. While similar, Striker Fulminata removes the redundant abilities of Valkyrie Blade Strike and turns the character into a full main DPS. The changes made to her attack pattern make her a lot more viable in the Abyss-like stages. Valkyrie Blade Strike's combo attack and burst mode are stretched out for exceedingly long durations, which not only made her vulnerable to incoming attacks, but also made it difficult for her to attack enemies. Her attacks also lacked horizontal reach, which made it hard for her to land hits on enemies other than the ones right in front of her. Striker Fulminata, on the other hand, receives a new passive called the EM Charge. She can gain EM charges with her basic attack and consume them by attacking during evasions. Her burst mode also deals damage to surrounding enemies upon activation and now has a maximum duration of 10 seconds. This prevents her SP from draining completely, allowing her to synergize with support Valkyries. It also gives her the option to reactivate it when needed. When equipping both Valkyrie Blade Strike and Striker Fulminata, physical damage equipment that get stronger with every hit are most suitable. With their ability to gain combo hits quickly and with their reliance on burst mode, the third sacred relic is a perfect fit. Combo Keeper also comes in handy when using such a weapon. Void Blade also makes a decent option. It's generally a great katana for any physical DPS katana wielder. Its active skill generates a time slow field that helps keep enemies from getting out of range. It also provides a 30% critical rate bonus to the wielder. Unfortunately, the passive ability cannot be optimally utilized due to the nature of the burst mode activation, where only a small amount of SP is consumed upon activation. 
For Striker Fulminata, Fairy Sword Sylvan is also a viable option as it can benefit off the 60% increase in movement speed after triggering an evasion skill. With proper use of its active skill, it could provide a considerable consistent boost in damage. The downside to using weapons with active skills though is their SP requirement. That's where Dawnbreaker Talwar comes in. Its active skill actually helps with SP regeneration. By spending 10 SP, the Wilder gains 64 SP in return. And even though the passive damage increase it provides is not as high, it helps prolong the duration of Valkyrie Blade Strike's burst mode and helps Striker Fulminata reactivate her burst mode more frequently. It also helps with the team's rotation, as the wielder can continue charging SP after switching out. For Stigmata, Schrodinger Man T and B with Ekaterina M would make the ideal combination. Due to her lack of damage, switching to a cost-effective option will greatly impact her performance on the field. However, if pressed for an alternative, Ryunosuke Akutagawa's full set comes in handy, as it's easily obtainable. Since the third sacred relic is obtainable by farming the bounty marks, it counts as a cost-effective option as well. In general, Valkyrie Blade Strike and Striker Fulminata's playstyle make them poor choices for boss battles in the Memorial Arena, as they require a lot of buildup. They can perform better when given the chance to charge up their SP, but the fluctuation of their damage throughout battles causes the team to lose a lot of time. Fortunately, there still is a game mode where these two battle suits can shine. In co-op mode, their team skill adds 50 hits to the combo count of all teammates and provides SP according to their individual combo counts 5 seconds after activation. This enables teammates to use their ultimate skills early and also helps prolong the burst modes of teammates in drawn-out battles. For team combinations, just about any physical support Valkyrie can form a good team with Valkyrie Blade Strike or Striker Fulminata. Since getting hit while attacking enemies can be an issue, Yamabuki Armor makes a great support. Her shield can not only absorb incoming physical damage, but can also prevent teammates from getting interrupted while it's active. Her passive ability to impair enemies also comes in handy when dealing with tougher enemies in a group. In addition, her leader skill provides additional critical rate when the combo hit count exceeds 30, a number that Valkyrie Blade Strike or Striker Fulminata can easily gain and maintain. Valkyrie Chariot is also a great asset to the team as she can constantly switch in to gather enemies with the help of the Branya Sloth B Stigma. When it comes to physical supports, the Celestial Him is always an excellent option. Not only is she able to gather, impair, and even deal a little bit of damage to enemies, she can also increase the team's critical damage, physical damage, and resistance to getting interrupted. With the 11 Sacred Relic, she can also increase the team's critical rate. In unison with Valkyries that can gather enemies, Snowy Sniper and Valkyrie Triumph can further increase the physical damage teammates deal to enemies. While both their ultimates are able to increase physical damage enemies take, there are certain pros and cons to be considered. First off, the physical damage increase from Land of Frost, Snowy Sniper's ultimate, is at 35%. Valkyrie Triumph's Blade Field, on the other hand, increases the physical damage enemies take by 50%. Snowy Sniper is able to make up for this, however, by increasing the duration that enemies are frozen by 4 seconds. The downside to using Snowy Sniper is that she only unlocks the ability to deal extra damage to enemies at double S rank. In comparison, Valkyrie Triumph's Blade Field gets this ability right off the bat at her base A rank. Additionally, at S rank, Blade Field is able to heal the entire party. The trade-off here is that Valkyrie Triumph's Blade Field has a much higher SP requirement than Land of Frost. This requires her to stay out of the field for a longer period of time and affects the team's rotation. Fortunately, Striker Fulminata's ability to supply SP to teammates off the field can help with this issue. Combining this passive ability with the time the Celestial Hymn spends on the field to charge her own SP, the team's rotation isn't too badly affected. For support equipment, Beethoven's two-set ability is extremely useful on either support Valkyries, as they will be using their ultimate skills often. 
Gustav claims two set ability will work great on the other support Valkyrie in the team, in unison with Beethoven's abilities. On supports like Valkyrie Triumph, Valkyrie Chariot, and Snowy Sniper, Bronya Sloth B is highly recommended, as it will only require one of the two support Valkyries to build up SP. As cost-effective options, the two set abilities of the Musician and Tchaikovsky sets are suitable replacements for Beethoven and Gustav. Theresa Origins' full set also works well when supporting physical Valkyries. Mixing and matching equipment and Valkyries to make up for missing pieces might be necessary at times. A team combination with lower SP requirements can be formed by teaming Drive Cometa, Void Drifter, and Striker Fulminata. Void Drifter's ability to gather enemies, break shields, and trigger time slow QTEs fits perfectly with Drive Cometa and Striker Fulminata. Like Yamabuki Armor, Drive Cometa also provides shielding for the team. For equipment, any of the aforementioned Stigmata can be equipped on either of them, with Milner for Void Drifter and Star Shredderer Vikern for Drive Cometa. In summary, even after going through augmentation, Valkyrie Blade Strike isn't quite able to deal damage right off the bat. The time required for her to build up damage makes her a poor option in the Memoir Arena. In Abyss-type stages, however, she is provided with almost enough SP to activate her burst mode at the start of every battle, making her a viable option as a main DPS. It's very likely that she will only be used in co-op mode, where her abilities can actually make a great impact. Light and blue. 